We love our police. We love our sheriffs. And we love our ICE officers. And they have been working hard. The mass incarceration of poor people, black people, brown people, and undocumented immigrants is not the way to make America great again. We cannot rely on the president or the justice system to fix this. We have to join together as a community and fight for our rights. This is a call to action. Yeah. It is a cry for urgency. Black people are dying right. every single day. Enough is enough. My name is Patrice Con Pillars. I'm one of the co-founders of Black Lives Matter and a local organization in Los Angeles called Dignity and Power Now. I grew up with some of the people that I love the most being taken from me and being forced into incarceration. I could either be extremely angry and let that anger fester, or I, or I could do something with that anger. I made the choice that um, my anger could be used to help change the state's relationship to black people. We live in a city that's tearing families apart right now. What are we gonna do, y'all? Justice LA is a coalition organization in LA County. We have two main goals to stop the $3.5 billion jail plan. The other goal is to reallocate those funds into education, access to employment, and people having access to housing. Well, my name is Jada Raspberry. and I'm organizing director at Dignity and Power Now. I did six years inside Valley State Prison. While inside, I experienced a lot of crazy stuff. By building these new facilities, the Board of Supervisors are saying that state-sanctioned violence is OK. A very close friend of mine passed away in CIW due to medical negligence. She was supposed to be home in a year, and she had a stroke. Well, stroke-like symptoms, we, the autopsy report is, is really choppy. I was fuming. I was really pissed. And I was like, I have to do something. So I started working with Dignity and Power Now three years ago. The Sheriff's Department in Los Angeles has a history of brutalizing black and brown people. And it hasn't stopped. It's scary knowing that two new jails are going into our backyard. People will be dying in our backyard. That scares the shit out of me. My name is Helen Marie Jones Phillips. My son, John Horton Thomas III, he was incarcerated in 2009. He was in there 30 days. It was the, the 29th, the day that they came out and told me that John was dead. They said he had a fight with an inmate and they put him in a hole and he hung himself. I knew that John wouldn't have killed himself, number one. I knew that, because we talked about that. I said, the police did this. I said, they beat my baby to death. I started investigating right then and there. I filed a lawsuit in 2010. Um, the case was settled for $2 million. The bruise that's on my son's head, you can see it clear as day. Well, he been hit with a billy club or a flashlight. What brought me into working with DPN and Black Lives Matter is from what I went through with my son. And I wanted to speak out and help other people and try to save other lives because I couldn't save my son's life. My name is Bambi Salcedo. I am the president and CEO of the Trans Latino Coalition. You know, my childhood was very difficult. I was basically raised on the streets in Mexico. I have been incarcerated in the Los Angeles County Jail. I was at Twin Towers when they opened it in the mid-90s. I have been beaten up both by inmates and by guards to the point of unconsciousness. I feel that 
I was given an opportunity to turn my horrible experiences into opportunities, to be a voice for those who are not able to speak. My name is Jonathan Perez. Currently, I am the development coordinator for the Immigrant Youth Coalition. No, I am undocumented. Uh, my family came because of the civil war that has impacted my home country. That's really informed what I'm dedicated to. Asada Shakur says that we have nothing to lose but our chains. This is that moment. Like, what kind of future do we want? Justice LA is the coalition that's really gonna push against jail expansion in LA County, particularly the $3.5 billion they're gonna put forward to constructing these two new jails. And so we're gonna launch a dynamic and fierce campaign to really reinvest these resources back into our communities. Today is the last day before we drop 100 beds outside of the Board of Supervisors office to protest the building of more LA jails. Right now, there, um, there has been approval for two new jails, a mental health jail that will replace Men's Central Jail, and then a women's jail that will be out in Lancaster. So the idea on Tuesday, there's a few components, um, and obviously, um, please don't share this with anybody. We have 16 volunteers um, going to a warehouse where the jail beds are gonna be at about five in the morning, and we're going to transport the jail beds to the front of the County Board of Supervisor office. Beds in general can represent where we dream and our vision for Los Angeles, but they can also represent another tool of incarceration, right? Um, so many of our folks um, die on those beds and are restrained on those beds, give birth on those beds. And so this dual symbolism hopefully will, will move not just the Board of Supervisors, but other folks that see the action on Tuesday. What is the messaging like in terms of signs? Like what's the strategy? I think the strategy overall is to have people reimagine what all this money would go into if we had the power to define that. Why, why is in the county uh, prioritizing low-income housing? Uh, why is in the county providing um, mental health services outside of the jails? It's really like to light a fire on people's like imagination. How are black people being reflected in this, particularly since we are the people who are most incarcerated? I think it's actually an important point about how we, what the visual is. The bears are very personal to me because they accuse my son of sitting on the bed with his buttocks on the bed, with his feet touching the floor and hung himself from a vent. Can we do anything to represent victims like John? We should create altar space. I, I appreciate that. Anytime organizers get in a room to, I think, challenge um, some of our biggest enemies, um, it's, it's powerful, it's exciting. I have like the jitters about Tuesday, but I, I also, I, I believe in us and um, I just believe in, in what, what's possible. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and support each other. We must love each other and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and support each other. We must love each other and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. Thank mm -hmm. you.